Hi there, today we're unboxing a gaming keyboard. So this particular keyboard is by Motorspeed and the model is CK888. So purchased from Amazon for around 50 pounds. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. So very nicely packaged, some Chinese writing on there and English, got some QR codes, I guess that must be for their website. Okay, that's all there is, just basic details about it. Been seeing these for a while, thought I'd give the, one of these a go. Okay, first of all, we've got a instruction manual. Let's have a quick look in there, see what language we can see. So, okay, we've got one side completely in Chinese and the other side in English, so that's good. Okay, not sure what that is. Okay, let's take this out of its packaging. So this is the keyboard, it seems. Well packaged, to avoid any damage. Let's take that out initially. Okay. And then we've got the mouse. Okay, and then we've got a clip to enable you to remove the keys. So let me tidy this up a little bit and let's try it out. Okay, so we've got everything laid out, you get in the packaging. So let's initially look at the items. So first of all, the mouse. Build quality seems good, doesn't feel cheap and nasty. Got a number of buttons on there. Wheel there as well, another button there, two buttons. Seems good. Let's remove this. And obviously it's got a protector for the USB side of things. So yeah, lots of cable there, which is good. Okay, build quality seems good at that. Let's have a look at the actual keyboard. So take the Velcro strap off. It's nice, you can just, I guess, tie it up so you don't have too much cable. And there you go, USB connector. Nice chunky connector, cable seems of good quality as well. The keyboard. Feels very nice, very good build quality. Zoom in a little bit so you can have a good look at it. See, there's a screw there. So yeah, looks good. Let's have a look at this angle. So you can actually see the keys connected and underneath. It's got a keyboard stand so you can improve the actual position of it. So that's probably a better working position. So yeah, seems good. So the other thing to show is this. So this is actually a clip to allow you to pull out the keys if you need to clean it. So, if I get into a good angle to show the way it works, literally sits in like so, and you just pull and it pops off. It's an easy cleaning, it's quite cool. Let me take that off, push that back into position, and there. Okay, so let's get this plugged in now. So I've got my laptop at the side here, no need to show the actual laptop. It's all plug and play. Okay, so I've closed the curtains in the room, so you've got a better idea of the lights coming on. So it looks quite cool. So initially, let's show you the actual mouse. So, do you want to talk us through the mouse? Okay, so this one, this button here is to change the speed of the mouse, whether you want it to go slow or fast. On the screen, yeah? Yeah, the okay. cursor. And then, on the side we have these two buttons. So, on a web page, this wants to go forward, and this wants to go back. Okay. And we have the scroll, left click, and the right click. Excellent. Okay. And the actual positioning of the mouse, the way it's built, is quite quite comfortable to hold. So it's sort of ergonomic. So it's quite a nice feel when you're using it. So normally they're a bit more rounded at the side. So this is quite um 
a nice working mouse. So, okay, that's that. Next thing is the keyboard. So, what can we do with this keyboard? Okay, so first it's on a standard color. Uh, to change the brightness, you hold FN, up arrow, so it's at max, and to turn it down, it's FN, down arrow. You can see it's gone dim. Can you turn the color off completely? Yeah, you can turn it off, so PS, which is print screen, FN, print screen, and it's ah, off. Okay, excellent. But it doesn't turn the keyboard off, just the lights. Okay. Okay, so then press FN, print screen, and then... Back on. It's on one color. So default color is red, is it, on this keyboard? Yeah, and if you want to change it, it's FN, delete. Excellent. So those okay. are all the colors. And then, so to change what these colors, there's these different options. Okay. This one. Also, you have different selections. So these are different gaming options. So if you had, for instance, a game which just uses the cursors and you wanted those highlighted, so you can have that. And these are some default sort of gaming controls, so that as well. So if you go through those as well. So how many of these are there? There's five different ones. One, this one. To get, get the next one, two, three, four, and five. And you can customize to your own. So click on one of them. Say one. Okay, let's do it. So show the next one. Okay, if you move your fingers. Yeah, so that's the next one. Okay, three. Okay, four. Okay, and five. Excellent. So very useful. So I guess a lot of the time when you're playing games, it would be nice just to see the keys you're going to be working with more highlighted so this is perfect for that so what else can you do with this so say if you're playing a different game without these sort of standard yeah you can customize them okay so fn hm okay and then if you click on the buttons you'll come up with ah uh, so you can actually pick the buttons you want programmed yeah and then click on them again and they'll change color ah okay Excellent. Very good. Very smart how it works. And then to turn it off, FN, HM, and you're done. And it's and save then, that, is it? Yeah, click it again. Okay, so if you wanted to, does it save this so you can go back to it? Yeah, so if you go back to one. Okay, and how I can think you get the custom one? Can you get that back on? So FN and 5, so we saved it under 5. Okay, gotcha. And you could reprogram some of the other ones as well? Yeah, just select the one you want. So for I want to reprogram it, and then HM, and then you can choose. Excellent, okay. Okay, okay what so else can you do? So there's other options. So if I go through here, yeah. you can change through these, I'd like to speed it up. So, say oh, you, so want you can speed up the colour changing, yeah. so you could have the colours on as you're working. Yeah. Okay. And there's other options. So there's this one. There's this one. Change the colour. Wow, pretty cool. Okay, so that's one where you press a key. Okay. And then, next one. So there's this and it highlights all the keys around it. A rainbow one. And to make it change direction. Quite a lot of options in there there. Yeah. And then there's this one. Back to the first one. Is that it? Yeah. Excellent. So what if you've changed a load of settings and you want to reset it? Is there an option to reset the keyboard? Yeah, so go FN, escape, and these this should happen, and that means it's been reset. Excellent. Okay. So you've had a play about with it. What do you think? It's a really good keyboard. Excellent. So there you go. A great gaming keyboard. The build quality is really good. Functionality wise, you've got a lot of functionality in there. And there you go.
Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing a gaming keyboard. Well worth it. Uh, just the fact that you can actually highlight the keys you're going to be playing with, I think that's a, a really cool feature to have. And the ability to actually pull the keys off and clean the keyboard, and that's a good one as well. Obviously, keyboards do get dirty, um, so quite a nice option to have. So there you go. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.